A new study shows people with type 2 diabetes using the active ingredient in Osempic and Wegovy maintained improvements in blood sugar control and weight loss for three years. The study involved more than 23,000 people over three years. ABC News medical contributor and physician at Stanford Children's Health, Dr. Alok Patel, joins me now for more. Dr. Patel, what stands out to you from this study? What stands out is the sustained benefit over the course of three years. A lot of the headlines people have seen regarding Osempic, semaglutide, and these drugs have been over the course of this year. A lot of short-term benefits and not necessarily a generalized population. So this study is really showing what can happen if people have good adherence, meaning if they're prescribed to take these medications, that they are doing it on a weekly basis over the course of many years, sustaining the side effects, following their healthcare team, that they're seeing a weight loss in this study about 10 pounds, that they are seeing a reduction in their blood sugar and overall beneficial health. Now, it's important to note that this study was partially funded by the manufacturer, and it's yet to appear in a peer-reviewed journal, but this is an important step forward as you start having the conversation about these long-term weight management solutions for certain individuals with a high BMI or with type 2 diabetes. So how can people test their blood sugar, and what should they know about the results? Well, the most important thing for people about their blood sugar is to realize that we all have certain amounts of blood sugar. We need them to live. You can have short-term symptoms if you have too low blood of sugar. Too high blood sugar, you could be pre-diabetic or diabetic, and that can cause some long-term complications. If people have questions or concerns about testing their own blood sugar, you want to check in with the healthcare professional. Now, the metric for measuring blood sugar in this study, which a lot of people have heard about, is called A1C or hemoglobin A1C, quick med school 101 overview. We all have hemoglobin, that's the part of our red blood cells that carry oxygen over time. You can have sugar kind of bind to that. And the, the A1C test is a measure of that over the course of three months. So we want that number to be below 6%, roughly about 5.7%. When we start getting above 6.5%, that's when your physician may worry about prediabetes or diabetes. The average person can expect to get tested for this about every three years if you're high risk, one to two. People with diabetes every six months. But again, it's important to check in with your doctor if you are concerned about your blood sugar or if you want to check it more frequently. Now, for those who are thinking about using a semaglutide drug for weight loss or diabetes, what should they know? What should they know is part of the question you just said right there, is that the indications are for weight loss and diabetes in certain individuals, and you want to do this under physician guidance. Diane, Osempic is not a quick fix. It is not something that people should just take without having the right medical indications. There can be side effects. And again, as we're talking about with this study, adherence is important. If people are prescribed this medication, expect to take it for a long period of time several years, if not for the rest of their life, and only stop taking it if directed by a physician. And also, these medications, including any weight loss medications, are part of an overall healthy lifestyle plan that would include healthy nutrition, dieting, exercise, and one of your favorites, sleep. It's a big one. ABC News contributor, physician at Stanford Children's Health, Dr. Alok Patel, thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.